We started. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> we uh, accidentally pushed stop instead of um, pause, but it doesn't matter. So anyhow, we are we finished the mask. So you'll notice it might be a little rough around the edges. You can take scissors and um, plaster over that, and no big deal. So you want the mask to sit for about five minutes. And after about five minutes, then it's, uh, it starts to get firm where it will support itself. So in order to get it off, to make sure that you're getting it off um, and not pulling skin, so you want to make these facial expressions. So you want to do like angry and then surprise and angry and kind of rock your face side to side until you can feel it separating. Always have the person that's being casted remove it from themselves instead of having you, like uh, your partner remove it because like it might be stuck. So like I'm noticing right here, my hair doesn't want to let go and there we go so my hair finally let go so you're gonna pull it off the person's face um, and then you're gonna give the mask to your partner and then your partner would then like walk you to a sink and um, to pull all this off so all you're gonna do is just make sure that um, they pull it off you want to look for any kind of redness that you might see um, we want to make sure that they, that they don't get any, any scraps um, to fall into their eyes. And then pretty much um, that's all you're going to do. You're going to wash your face. And then while that person is washing their face, what you're going to do is all these little rough edges, while it's still soft uh, and you're able to cut it, it's so much easier to cut it while it's wet than it is to cut it after it's already hardened. The scissors, does, they don't like to cut it. So, again, you're going to cut off all of the hard edges that maybe you're not happy with. Um, Remember, kids, there are no mistakes, just happy little yes, accidents. Yes, there are happy little accidents. So and you can always start over if it ends up, like, really not working out for you. So that, to me, looks pretty good. So then notice you'll have these, um, these rough edges. So what you would do is you would just take your plaster, again, um, that you have, dip it into your water, and um, lay it right next to it. You don't necessarily want to fold it over because then it won't fit on your face as well. But again, just um, fold it over. You really want to get some of that powdery stuff so that it, it softens your edges. And again, you would do this around your entire entire mask. So, And then what you decide to do with it is entirely up to you. Um, the great thing about doing a plaster mask like this is that it only fits your face, so it's great for like um, Halloween or uh, if you have a masquerade ball that you want to go to or any kind of dress up that you're wanting to do, um, you can always build up and, and add to it. So like if I wanted to add a nose, you could take a Kleenex and you could just kind of form whatever shape that you want. Um, you could tape it on if you want or you can just go ahead and start uh, plastering. So then you would just take plaster and just lay it over it. Um, I've used newspaper before. I've used crayons. If I want to have you know, anything, any scrap that you not you don't care about losing, um, that you could use. And then again, if you don't need all of it, so I might not use all of the Kleenex, and you can just cut it off with a pair of scissors. But I'm really thinking, like I really might want to to use it. So again, you just take your your plaster strips, and you know, wrap it. To the shape that you want, you know, kind of sculpt it, and just keep working until you get a shape that you like. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you want your, if you want it to be more of like a witch's nose, you know, it has a point to it. If you want later want to add like a mole, you could do sculpty. Um, you know, any it could be a mixed media type project that you could do so it's entirely up to you and right here coming from underneath it really won't matter because you know my nose doesn't stick out like that so if I fold it underneath it will still um, fit my face so and then again take your water and just um, smooth it you don't want it to be rough so really smooth out your um, your shape so again it looks a little um, crooked but again, sometimes that makes it look more authentic, makes it look where it's not store-bought, but that actually looks kind of interesting. So, and again, you could do the same thing with the eyebrows with your Kleenex. You can, um, <clears throat> again, you know, twist it up, rip it in half. So I would just twist this 
and figure out where I want my, my eyebrows to be. And you want a larger piece of plaster for this. So again, figure out where you want your eyebrow to start and curve down to and just smooth as you go. And again, you might need some water to kind of manipulate it and you can kind of point it. Um, you can also cut it if you like. So there I have an eyebrow. Remember your eyebrows are not right underneath your eyelid. You gotta give yourself some space. Um, a lot of my students, they, they draw their eyebrows or sculpt their eyebrows like right on their eyelid. You don't wanna do that. So again, find out where your um, eyebrow is and sculpt it around. And try to try to get them to where they both look alike. Otherwise, you're just going to look really odd. And more plaster. Okay, and then we could do this for days, but we won't. So, because um, we want to be cognitive of your time. So, but anyway, that's pretty much in a nutshell how you would do. A plaster mask and then you would paint it with acrylic paint is probably best uh, put several layers of acrylic paint because it will peel but um, this is pretty much in a nutshell there's some of my makeup um, how you would do a plaster mask thanks for joining us